When it comes to creating your content, whether you're going to be writing or you're going to be doing videos or writing books or creating courses, etc., one of the things that stops people is, well, George, how do I plan my topics, my theme? Should I have a calendar for the year to say January, I'm covering this, February, I'm covering that, week one, I'm covering this, week two, I'm covering that? Here is my advice for you on this. Please don't worry about the topics or the themes or whether or not you know things are going in order. You should do this before you should do that. What is the most important thing for you right now is are you even doing it? Are you even showing up to make your videos? Are you even showing up to write your things? If you're not even showing up and writing or making videos, none of that planning and themes and topics matters. Once you are showing up consistently, doing your writing, making your videos, putting them online, not just writing it you know, in, in your journal and then that's it. No, doing, putting your writings on the internet for everybody to see, putting your videos on the internet for everybody. Once you start doing that consistently and authentically, then and only then do I recommend looking back at the things that you have created and published online and noticing if there are themes at that point. So let me talk about what I mean by consistency on, uh, and authenticity. Consistency, if you're not sure how often you should do something, do it every single day. Do it every single day. It is ironically easier to do something every day than it is to do it every week. Because once a week, you're like, well, yeah, I'm supposed to do my videos on Tuesdays, but I'm only going to do it once a week, so maybe I'll do it on Thursday instead. Thursday comes around, you don't feel like doing it. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I never feel like doing these videos. Just before I, push, I press record right now, just so you know, three, three minutes ago, three minutes ago, I was already starting to prepare. I did my energy reboot. And, but five minutes ago, I was thinking of canceling this video. Didn't feel like doing it. I never feel like doing it. Never. And this today particularly because I, I uh, didn't plan, I didn't, organ, I didn't arrange my time well enough to have a, a full morning nap this morning. I always take a, I take a nap after breakfast and I didn't get to do that fully this morning. So especially I didn't feel like doing this video, but I'm here, I'm right in front of you, you're watching me right now and I'm trying to amp up my energy so that I can get into the flow and you can see that I'm starting to get into the flow a little bit. But if you, if you just caught me right now, I'd be like this, oh yeah, hi. Um, so, uh, what am I going to talk about today? No, I amp up my energy. You can create energy anytime you want. <laughs> That's the truth. You know, you can create energy anytime you want. You don't have to like feel in the moment. You have to, you don't have to be inspired. You get inspired, right? <laughs> don't be inspired. You get inspired. You, 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 you make yourself inspired by moving your hands or making your face brighter or whatever you need to do. Get inspired. And now, of course, I'm now I'm feeling more connected to my higher self. I'm feeling more connected to my passion and my desire to serve you, right? Get consistent. I don't care if I'm sick, I'm still here. You know, I don't care if I'm, you know, my family member needs my support, I'm still here, okay? Consistency is the, the number one thing that you have to get into for content. You have to do it. If you're not sure how often, do it every single day. It's gonna be because, like I said, if you do it once a week, you can always make excuses, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, oh, well, it didn't work this week, so I'll just do it starting next week. But if you're doing it every day, then you have no question. Well, I'm doing it every day. Did I do it today? I didn't do it today? Well, I better do it today. There's no question about it. You have to do content where there is no question. I just watched a video the other day talking about like the number one thing everybody needs to learn, you know, and he was saying, well, it's not meditation. It's not sleeping early or it's not waking up early or whatever. The number one thing you need to learn is commitment. Commitment means to constrain your freedom, to consciously, purposefully constrain your freedom to make sure you do that thing that you're committed to do. Now, that's, you know, nobody likes to constrain their freedom. Everyone wants to expand and be, be a free spirit and everything. 
I get it. But it's not about constraining your freedom. It's about understanding that human beings, you, are self -de self deceptive more than you realize. You deceive yourself all the time to saying, well, I don't feel like it, so therefore my spiritual guidance is not here. <laughs> I don't feel like it, so therefore it's not meant to be right now. I'm not in the flow. It, the universe is not aligned. The stars aren't aligned. That my, I'm not aligned to do this thing. No, you just don't feel like it because you don't have the habit of doing it. You, you don't feel like it because you don't have the habit of getting into the energy of doing it. That's why you don't feel like it. Nobody feels like doing anything. I don't feel like doing, I don't feel like doing my business, you know? But once I start doing it, then I love it. I don't feel like doing videos. Once I start doing it, I love it. I don't feel like talking to clients, but once I get into the meeting, I see that I'm serving them and that they're benefiting from it, and I love it. Nobody feels like doing anything, except you know these days being distracted by social media. That's easy. Playing video games is easy. Eating junk food is easy. Going out for a walk, you know, can be easy if it's pleasant outside. Nobody feels like doing anything. No, you have to generate the energy to do it. So you have to commit and generate the energy when you said you would to do it. And then once you generate the energy and get into it, then suddenly the stars are aligned. Suddenly I'm in, in my intuition. I'm in my flow. All that spiritual stuff is because you made the decision to generate it. So all that spiritual alignment stuff, no, I made the decision to generate that, right? And therefore I'm in the flow now. So consistency is the most important thing when it comes to content not well george i don't have my message together yet that's another common common mistake right george i don't have my message together listen you figure out your message after you get consistent and authentic with your content i've told you about my side project my secret side project hopefully i'll, re I'll reveal it this year we'll see but my secret side project being a spiritual counselor I didn't know what I was talking about. It's sort of, I have some interest in spirituality. I've always had interest in it, but I don't have a degree. I don't have any certification. I've not taken a single class. I have not taken a single class online or offline. I haven't even read any, any articles. I haven't consumed any content about how to be a spiritual counselor. I just decided I'm going to do it. Am I qualified? I decide I'm qualified. Okay. Now this is different if you're in a field where you literally have boards of certification, you know, being a marriage family therapist, that stuff has certification or you're prescribing medicine or whatever. Those are, those are certified. You, you need official government certification for these things. But being a spiritual counselor, being a life coach, you don't need certifications. You don't need classes or whatever. You decide you're going to do it. And if you've been having that passion for a long time and you've, if you've thought about these things or read, read things more than most people, you decide that you're qualified. I decide I'm qualified to be a spiritual counselor. Nobody has to tell me. No, I don't have to take any classes. I decide I'm qualified. Yes, I have a big ego, maybe. I have a hubris, but maybe, maybe not. I just, maybe I'm, a, I'm an idealist. I just say I'm qualified and I'll see if I'll start with a very low rate. And if people don't like it, I'll give them the money back, right? Like, yeah. like you know, so start with consistency of content. Don't don't worry about your message. Don't worry about your offerings. I don't know what my message, I don't really know what my offerings are going to be in my spiritual counseling. I've been posting content now for eight months. No, since July. Yeah. Is it eight months? Yeah. Eight months, full eight full months. I've been posting content on that spiritual counseling page. Okay. Consistently once a week. I only do give myself two hours a week. A video and a, and a posting every single week, right? A write up and a video every week. I don't know what my message is yet. I really don't. I just post on different things. Sometimes I post on mindfulness. Sometimes I post on habits. Sometimes I post on my thoughts on spiritual development. I'm just posting all kinds of stuff. So that's the authentic part of it, okay? Consistency is number one. You have to decide what your rhythm is. Daily is the easiest thing to get into. Every other day is a little bit harder than daily. You know, three times a week is harder than twice every other day and on and on, okay? The, the less frequent your content is, the harder it is to get into. Now, yeah, okay, so now, um, okay, so consistency is number one. Number two is authenticity. Now that you're gonna show up every day or you're gonna show up every other day or whatever, what should you write? I don't have my message. I don't know what my business is gonna be called. I don't know what my message is gonna be. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing to, for, for people. I don't know. 
Well, it's okay because if you show up that day, open your mouth and see what comes out. Okay, do a little bit of planning. I'll say do five minutes of planning in advance to say, well, I'll just talk about this today. But it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be like, well, maybe I won't have enough to say. It's okay. I do that all the time. When I started this video, I'm like, okay, I have two things to say to you, which I could have said in two seconds. Consistency, authenticity, goodbye. That's it. That's what. I, that's really, I had two words in mind, consistency and authenticity. And I basically said, let me riff off that. Let me just open my mouth and let the words come out until I keep saying stuff about consistency and authenticity. And now it's turning out to be an okay video. It's not, the, it's not my best video. But, but you see what I mean? I, I'm giving, I'm being an example for you. I'm, I'm trying to model for you what authenticity can be like. Now, authenticity is everybody is their own authentic self. So I don't want you to copy me, but I want you to know that when I show up, I don't have things planned. I have two words in mind, consistency. That's all I had planned for today. Consistency, authenticity. Those are two things, two words I'm going to say out of my mouth. Besides that, I'm not sure what else I'm going to say. Okay, and I just amp up my energy. I, I connect. I just like I'm gonna come alive right now. I'm gonna press record and I'm gonna see what happens. Okay, that's what I hope you'll do in your own way as well. Consistency and then authenticity. Five minutes of planning. Give yourself five minutes. That's it. Okay, I can say one thing. Spiritual counseling. What am I gonna talk about today? Uh, what's in the realm of spiritual counseling that people might need help with? Um, well, they might they might be suffering with something. So how do, I, how, do, how, do, how do you deal with suffering? I literally just did 30, 20 seconds of planning and now I'm gonna record a video on how to deal with suffering. I don't know, I'll just come up with something, right? But see, when I say I'll come up with something and when you say you'll come up with something, it's not literally like you were just born today and you just, no. When I say I'll come up with something, what I mean is I will, I will with, even though my mind is blank, right? As I open my mouth, naturally, my life's whole experience will come to bear if I'm willing to just open my mouth and say, somebody will be helped by this, I will think of something. And what I think of is not something I'm just born today and the first thought that came to my mind. No, I have a whole lifetime of experience with suffering and how to deal with that. You see what I mean? Whatever topic, you give me a topic and I can start talking. If I, because all of us, and same with you, if I forced you to open your mouth and talk about something, you will be able to do it. If I force you to sit down and write on something, you will be able to do it because you have a whole lifetime of experience and it'll just come to you. Just let it come to you. You don't have to plan anything. Just let it come to you. Do you see what I mean? So consistency and authenticity, those come first. And then you look at planning. So I don't plan. I be consistent and authentic first. And then after I've got a couple months worth of consistency and authenticity, or if you're doing it every day, then you could look back after 30 days. If you're doing it only once a week, you probably look back after three months and go, oh, let me, let me write out the, the titles or the, 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 the topics of what I've talked about in each of my pieces. Do I see a pattern here? Oh, I talked about suffering three out of 10 times. So there you go. That's, that's, I guess that's one of my themes. All right, good. I'm going to start talking about suffering, you know, on a regular basis, how to deal with suffering. Oh, I talked about um, habit creation two out of 10 times. I guess that's also one of my themes, you know. So you look back and then you pattern recognize what your authentic themes and topics are. And also what you pattern recognize is what is working for people, you know. Oh, I posted 10 things and people really liked thing number three and thing number seven. Well, what are those things about? Oh, that is about how to find joy. Oh, great. Well, maybe I should talk more about that. Maybe that'll be one of my themes. So that's how you plan content. You don't plan content before you've gotten consistent and authentic. Because if you plan in advance, you'll get scared. You'll get perfectionistic. And you'll be less likely to be authentic. You'll be less likely to be consistent. But the, the gift, the opportunity that you have, that all of us have right now in, 
you know, 2019, 2020, or whenever you're watching this, the opportunity is that you can show up as yourself. You can show up without a single thought in your head. Well, you can show up with one, one word in your mind. That's what I'm going to talk about. And you could turn on a Facebook Live or an Instagram Live or whatever, or YouTube Live, now that there's YouTube Live. You have one word I'm going to talk about, and I'm just going to press record and see what comes out. I might remember a, 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 an experience of my life. I might remember a, a friend telling me something. I re might remember a quote. I might remember something I studied or read. See what comes out because that's your, that's your channeling. Your channel, you know, that's your, especially if you amp up your energy in advance or connect energetically however you connect, but you, you make a decision to connect energetically. You make a decision to get into the flow. You don't get it, you don't wait for the flow. You don't wait till you have energy. You don't wait all day until you're feeling good. You decide to feel good and you do whatever practice you can do in one minute to feel good and to feel up, to feel alive, to feel inspired, to feel in the flow, or at least the starting of it. And then once you press record, trust me, you'll, 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 you'll figure out what to say. Trust me on that because your intuition is smarter than you are. You know, you have a lifetime of experience. You have read thousands of articles in your life on all kinds of things. You have watched thousands of videos in your life. You have a lifetime, a treasure trove of wisdom hidden within you that can only come out when you're willing to just make a decision and let it come out. So consistency first, authenticity next, okay? All right, and then planning for relevance. Oh, how can I be relevant to my audience and how can I... How can I plan my topics to be relevant for the business that I want to offer, the product and services I want to offer? But you start with consistent and authentic content first. Let the rest follow. I hope this is helpful. Thanks for those who are joining me, um, Captain and Kirsten, Alex, Ross, Peter, Stacy, Sharon, uh, Jen. Let's see who else is uh, commenting or Justine and Tord. And uh, yeah, thank you all. That's, that's who I'm, I'm, I'm able to see right now. Uh, let me see if I want to call forth any comments. Yeah, uh, Stacy said, decide, commit, succeed. That's, that's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, show up. Um, yeah. Yeah, so Stacy said, you know, you decided you're qualified. You see, you know your value rather than placing value in someone else's hands. That's exactly it. I see so many people who are wanting to offer, offer a service, something that they've been passionate about and they, they, they love doing, but they think they need to get a certification first. It's like they need someone else to tell them that they're valuable. It's like if you keep pursuing certifications, you'll all, you, you, what you, that should make a whole video on this, right? Because a lot of you watching this love to pursue classes and certifications Well, you take my classes. But the things I teach are kind of hard skills, like you kind of Facebook ads or whatever, like, you, like it's helpful to have someone walk you through it. But when it comes to your own life wisdom and being a life coach or being a spiritual coach or counselor or creativity coach or what, you have a whole life of wisdom. You, you, you don't need, and maybe you've read books and learned people's methods and that's fine and that's great and you can integrate, but you don't need someone else to give you a certification. Unless, like I said, there's a government and industry-wide thing that all clients are asking for, for, or most of your clients are saying, are you certified in this? But if your clients don't even know about the certification, right, why are you doing it? You're doing it because someone else sold you that they have the authority to put a stamp on you saying you are worthy of, of teaching this or, or, or coaching or counseling or mentoring on this. Tell yourself you're worthy. I'm worthy. I'm qualified to do this because of my life's wisdom. I'm just going to decide to do, I'm going to have the thrill, the thrill, the adventure of saying, yes, I'm worth doing it. I'm going to go ahead and try it and see what happens and see what happens. Even with the certification, you're still going to make mistakes, right? Now you can blame someone else, right? I mean, maybe that's why you can blame some, oh, the certification didn't teach me well. Well, ultimately, you still have to be responsible for everything. You know, your clients didn't get a good experience. It's still, your, it doesn't matter how many certifications you have. It's still, you are the one delivering the service. Right? It doesn't matter if you have five PhDs on the topic. You are still the one delivering the service. So you're still responsible, ultimately. So you have to say, yeah, I'm responsible. And guess what? It's okay to make mistakes. Right? It's okay to not know what I'm talking about. 
sometimes in the beginning, especially or throughout, right? It's okay. And I'm going to learn what, what seems to work for people and keep doing it. All right. That's a, that's a mini video for you right there on, on why I'm always, uh, when people say, I want to get a certification for that. I'm like, okay, is it government required or are your clients asking for the certification? If they're not, why are you getting it? Oh, because, right. So, um, yeah. Yeah, so Stacy says, what I'm hearing is that you share things that you enjoy. You build content over time, and eventually this morphs into something. Absolutely. That's, that's how I built all of my businesses, all of my uh, presence, right? And um, all right, so yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you all for your, for your wonderful, uh, kind comments. Appreciate your presence here. And until the next video, you know what to do. Consistency first, authenticity, be yourself. You will be loved by the people who are meant for you. And then after a while, you can look back at, at the planning and the relevance for your business and for your audience. All right. Take care and I wish you well. I wish you the, the uh, understanding that you can build that energy anytime you want. Be well.